Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I recorded a video earlier today on how to um, install fonts on Ubuntu Linux. The easy way, there is a built-in font manager and how to download uh, TTF files, which are true type fonts from the internet and then how to install additional fonts onto your operating system for me, um, Ubuntu Linux. So I got a comment from Brook2059 saying, Shalom from Mevaseratzion, can you please do a video on how to find and install Hebrew fonts? Todat uh, So this is actually a great idea for a video because there are um, lots of Hebrew fonts out there on the internet. And in this uh, video, I want to just uh, show people where to, where to find those. So the first website worth mentioning is freefonts.co.il. Now there are uh, commercial paid fonts available in Hebrew, just so there are commercial fonts in, uh, in English. But if you're looking to just dip your toes in the water or install a few fonts on your computer, uh, then there are some great, great free fonts to get you going in the world of Hebrew uh, typography. Now, the one thing to mention about Hebrew is obviously that it's written in right to left. It's an RTL font. So typically uh, when you're typing in Microsoft Word or uh, whatever you use, the uh, program will detect once you change your language into Hebrew that you are going RTL and format the paragraphs accordingly. But sometimes you have to manually change it. Sometimes when you're writing in a mixture of English and Hebrew, as any Israeli will tell you, it gets very messy, but uh, you will learn solutions to these things as you go along. So freefonts.co.il, just to show you guys some of the options there. So you have both nicer versions of uh, your uh, traditional um, Ashurit block text in Hebrew, such as this font here. And this website's updated somewhat frequently. You can see these two are new. Um, some, you know, some people ask, can you type in cursive? So you, you can actually, you can type in cursive. There are cursive fonts such as this one at Dana Yad. So if you want to, uh, you know, do up a poster or artwork or something like that in integrating cursive Hebrew, then you can just download one of these fonts. Uh, there's actually a ton of options. If you happen to be share my um, strange interest in Paleo Hebrew, uh, Proto Hebrew, the Hebrew that was used at the time of uh, the first and second temple, then believe it or not, there are also Paleo Hebrew fonts and even Phoenician fonts available for download from the internet. So there's really a good chunk of fonts here. There is both at nicer day-to-day -day fonts. There's kind of slightly more um, artistic fonts. I'll put a link to this website in the description. Now, in terms of installing fonts, if you've never done it before, I use Ubuntu Linux, which is kind of an obscure operating system, but generally uh, you just download a font and then follow the instructions for how to install. Um, I just did a video today on installing on Ubuntu. If you're using Windows or you're using Mac OS, then you can see what type of file you get downloaded here. Generally, uh, fonts are distributed as .ttf true type font and installing them is very easy. Uh, so just besides those two fonts, uh, just to point out that there also are liturgical fonts. Um, so if you're looking to use a font like this uh, for some kind of a religious text, then you can do that as well. So in order to grab any of these fonts, just click on the uh, download button here and you'll get a zip file. Now, if you open up that zip file, you get, as I mentioned, a dot. TTF true type font file and they're fairly light. This one's only 15 kilobytes. Now um, in Hebrew, every font in English as well actually has a different TTF file depending on whether it's bold, italic, underscored. Some fonts even have uh, you know a few layers of heavy and extra heavy. So just be aware that um, when you're installing this, you're installing a single true type font. Uh, this only has one. You will find some fonts even in Hebrew that have uh, multiple files and those will allow you to do stuff like bold and italics. Um, otherwise, you're limited to just uh, what this has available. Now, if you happen to be using Ubuntu Linux, as I described earlier, there is a graphical user interface, a GUI, and it is called Font Manager. Uh, so all you need to do is uh, click on plus. And as you can see, it's capable of storing 
both um, Hebrew language fonts, for instance, this font called Aleph. This is a font which has Aleph and Aleph bold. Now it only does preview the glyphs in English, um, but that's how you add, you click on the plus icon. And if you see, I've unzipped this Stam Svarad one. So I can just go onto it here in my desktop. Um, and now I select the TTF and that's all it takes. You can see this thing is spinning and it's being added. I had 111, now I'm gonna have 112. If you want to uh, check that it did get installed then you can just run a search for it. So you can see I have now Stam Ashkenaz and Stam Sferad installed in my system and you can see what the fonts look like as well. Likely you're using Microsoft Windows as your operating system then assuming you're using Vista 7 or above, all you need to do is after you've unzipped that zip archive, um, right click on the TTF file that I just showed, click install and that will add that font uh, to your computer. Another option I really recommend if you're looking to download a few cool Hebrew fonts onto your computer is using Google fonts. So most people have a Google account or a Google Workspaces account and Google Fonts is great because you can select a bunch of different fonts for download, download them at the one time and then install them as a bulk. It just makes it a bit quicker. So uh, Google Fonts can be accessed at fonts.google.com and at the top of the screen here, there's a language selector. So just scroll down to Hebrew and you can see it's, sh it's saying now 25 of 1,358 families. So the amount of Hebrew fonts available in Google Fonts, it's a small chunk. It's only 25 fonts at the moment, but the collection is growing and 25 is better than zero. So you can see there's 25 different fonts available in Hebrew. Michal Shachar from Israeli uh, designers. There's ones that are in um, well, mostly in, uh, I don't see any in cursive text, but there's actually one in Rashi script as well. So that's another thing uh, you can download from the internet. Now, a lot of people these days spend most of their time working in Google Docs instead of using desktop programs like Microsoft Word. So if you want to install more fonts in uh, Google Docs, you can do that pretty easily. So click on the font icon at the top of the screen and then at the very top, you're going to see a button that says more fonts. And what you can do here is you can search in Hebrew. So let's say I wanted to search for Rashi. So this will pull in from the full library of Google Fonts. So if you want to use a Google Font, in Photoshop or in some uh, desktop program, download them from Google Fonts. If you just want to use them within Google Docs itself, then you can just do it like this. Search for the font like Noto Rashi Hebrew, then click on OK. Now Noto Rashi Hebrew is available. Now if I start typing in English, nothing's going to happen. It's just typing in a regular font. But if I change my system language into Hebrew, then we can see we're now typing in Rashi script and then if I go back um, out, if I just go back to let's say a regular Arial font and I resume typing in Hebrew, you can see that we're now typing in the default Hebrew script. Now how does this work if you are using desktop software? So I've just opened LibreOffice here which is like the main um, drafting program in Linux and if you go through the font manager, a useful feature of this is that if there is a right to left font available, it will preview it on the right. So you can see there's some fonts here in Hindi and there's some fonts here in English. Aleph is actually one of my favorite Hebrew fonts. So again, the same thing's gonna happen if I start typing in English, it isn't going to automatically change to Hebrew, but if I change the system language into uh, Hebrew and I can do another video on how to do that, then once I start typing in Hebrew, I'm typing in this font and uh, just make sure as well that your document alignment is set left to right. Hope that video has been useful on how to install additional system fonts in Hebrew to your computer. There is a really great world of Hebrew open source topography out there. And if you're typing regularly in Hebrew or you want to type in cursive or even in Rashi script, uh, then I encourage people to check out these websites. I'll put links in the description, download and play around with them. And thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.